Hi, it's Russ again. The third of our tools for lead generation is Facebook and social media uh, with others like um, Twitter and Pinterest. Uh, Facebook being the, the biggest of them in that it's a good way to show that you are a human being rather than just this machine trying to get people uh, to log on to their lists or to you know, sell them stuff. So when you use Facebook, you can use it in a way that is not bombarding people with uh, product information or stuff about your business or whatever it is. Uh, you can use it to show people that you actually have a human side. And one of the great ways to do this is uh, if you happen to be sponsoring someone, um, you can post your sponsorship activities where you're actually out there meeting people, enjoying stuff. Uh, you can post that sort of stuff up onto Facebook and it's a way that will show people that you have a human side to your life as well as a personal side. Now obviously there's two kinds of Facebooks. There's the one where you have your personal account, which some people tend to you know, just put any sort of rubbish up there. And the other is your Facebook business page. Um, that's where you can actually have it more devoted to business, um, but you sort of intertwine the two. So having yeah, your personal account, it, you know, your friends will be obviously interested in what you do in business, but they don't want to be hammered with you know, offers of you know, whatever it is that you do. So that's how you got to split it. There is a very uh, specific strategy that you use when using Facebook, but it's still a very essential part of your um, overall strategy for generating new leads to your business. So Facebook, it's you know pretty intuitive. You sign up, you get an account, you just go through and make sure that you have your personal uh, security profile set and then you would be right to go. So uh, have a look into it, link your Facebook account. The process then is once you are putting information onto your blog that you can then share it on Facebook and have other people then share it in turn with the idea that when they read something on your Facebook uh, page then it draws them back to your website. Remember the overall process here is that we want people to come back to our website to engage with us in a in an email conversation or to call us. So we're trying to get these people to take some sort of action uh, and that is ultimately to contact us, engage us in our product or service. So that's the idea. Facebook is the third of our lead generation tools and we can now go and have a look. There's a couple of others that are more paid but still very essential to getting your overall lead generation system up and running for you. So the next one we're going to look at is our automated email system. So we'll speak to you then.